<laughs> so this game totally just slipped through my fingers like the entire thing slipped through my fingers I had no idea of this game's existence and I just found it on Steam it's already got 1.2k like very positive reviews and good job on the devs for doing something like that in one day Con considering I never heard of it I have really high hopes I have really high hopes for this one apparently by the developers of detention I know we never finished it on my channel but I thought it was a good game I just didn't go back and finish it so hopefully this game is gonna be short sweet and to the point I don't I hope there's not a lot of meandering around so yeah let's go right away I can already tell that the music in this game is gonna be very disturbing and I'm expecting it to like keep the immersion going also the controller isn't working but that's okay is it though I don't think it's okay all right controller oh okay are you gonna work now there we go cool all right controller we're good uh, oh okay we're <laughs> thought it crashed <laughs> Whoa, the graphics are incredibly good. Can we move around? Now we can. Are you still watching TV? Into the gentleman? Hanging with the wrong crowd. There's something about this being, like, in a different language that's making me more on edge than normal. Wait, what the? What is this vibrating? What's going on? Is everything okay back there? Is this a dream sequence? Closer and closer to our dreams. Am I gonna look at the TV? Wait, what? Well, what's going on? Uh. Wait, what's happening? What on earth? What on earth is happening? Huh? Oh, uh, I don't think that was, I don't think that was Taiwanese folklore. I just don't think, I don't understand what's happening in the game. Uh. We good? Huh? I'm back in the same apartment. Okay then. Okay then. Is that a dead fish? The red arowana, a pet fish considered to bring luck and prosperity. Is that dead? That's dead, that can't be good. Cause that means I'm not gonna get luck or prosperity. It is so dark. I cannot see anything. There should be a level of dark that's permanent in games to where you can at least see something. Because now if I get jump scared, I can't even see what it is. So there's no point in the jump scare to begin with. I'm gonna go through the... It's a very long hallway. Uh... Okay. Sure. Guess we're gonna just walk out the house. Yep. There we go. All right. Well, what the shit? Oh my god! Is this Taiwanese Silent Hill PT? Is that what this is? Mei Shin. We were looking for a Mei Shin, weren't we? What the hell? Wasn't there a light on in this house? 
Yeah, there was. Hey, what's up, Pyro? What's up? I... Is that an umbrella? Is that just a floating umbrella? This is normal. Oh, no. There's something on the floor. Uh, I don't know what that is. Is there something behind me? Is that a lady? Oh, she's gonna jump scare me. Thanks. That got me. Good job. Made me jump. Nothing in this hallway, I guess. Let's go back that way towards the door. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. At least there wasn't like an obnoxious scream. I was so sure there was about to be an obnoxious scream right when I said that. Uh, cool. I'll take the house key. I do have the house key. Year of the Monkey, 1980. Open inventory. There we go. Cool. Alright. Saving. Oh, that was cool. Script moving in. Uh, husband smiling. People say that. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and read a script. Photo. She's pretty. Okay. Thank you for spending the night with us. Trophy? Best screenplay award. Oh! Okay, so we're writers. Alright. And porcelain bowls. Bowls found in a packing box. Cool. Empty dish rack. Do you want some porcelain bowl? Okay! A lonely soul weaving your net. Nest in a make-believe home with a stranger caught in a lover's masquerade. Alright. Cool. I mean, I, I guess that was a pretty basic puzzle, but... Oh, and then the radio turns off. This is definitely Taiwanese Silent Hill PT. I don't care what anyone says, that's exactly what this game is right now. Can I sprint? Doesn't look like I'm sprinting. Can I open this? Can't open this. That don't open. Let's go back in here. Hey. Okay. Hanging nails. Uh, do I put the picture here? Hey, I did it. This is pretty basic stuff. This is easy. This ain't too bad. All right, what next? Uh, no. Interact with anything? No. Nope. What's this? None, none of that stuff I can interact with. Alright, let's keep going. This doesn't look like RE2? Are you kidding me? It looks exactly like RE2. Look, there's a zombie right here. Damn. That would have been funny if there was like someone waiting to jump scare me. <laughs> okay. What's this? Dish detergent. Oh, zombie dish detergent, you guys. See, I'm playing RE2 just like I said I would. Alright. Well, can we just walk out the door now? I want to leave. I'm done with this. Nope. It's not letting me leave. Any of the stuff I could pick up off the floor? Well, I'm already stumped. It only took me a good two minutes to get stumped. That's okay. I'll figure it out. Obviously, it has something to do with this demonic dish detergent. Uh. Uh. Can I interact with anything up here? What do I get in my inventory? Got a trophy. You want a trophy? This can't be used here. You mean I can't use the trophy with the dish detergent? Says who? Obviously those items go together in some way. Lights are off in this room. Can I use my trophy to bash the door down? This can't be used here. Maybe. Maybe. Is there a spot that the trophy goes? 
Oh! Does this thing want a record? Maybe it wants a record. Uh. Nope. Don't see anything I can interact with at this point. I finished this room off, made it look fancy, and now I don't know what... What was that? Did you hear that? Sounded like some sort of, like, thump. I don't know what that would be. Okay. Well. I'm gonna exit this room and come back when I actually figure out what the hell goes in here. I didn't even see anything you can acro interact with. Like, nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Why is there a ladder here? And I definitely can't interact with the door. Maybe... Oh! Display cabinet. Trophy goes into display cabinet. I did it! Hell yeah. Alright. Well, now what do I do? Huh? What? I thought that's what I was supposed to do. Why is the lights off? the hell who broke this nope what a, a ballerina doll cool all right maybe the ballerina doll goes in here i i'm just joking you guys know that i know that it's over there i just don't want to go over there with the ballerina doll because something bad's gonna happen not to the ballerina doll but to the ballerina zen Oh, shit. This isn't normal. I don't know what's... Ah! Okay. Do you like my gift? What is it? Is that a box of marble lights? It's a lighter, I think. Oh, well, I guess I have a way to illuminate now. Why would you give me a lighter? Why are you encouraging my bad habits if I'm a smoker? This is the lighter you've always wanted. You must be exhausted from all the unpacking. Get some rest. I want you to know that I'll always support you. Happy Father's Day, your loving wife. Thanks. Oh, it's a little bird. A really annoying sounding little bird. I already hate it. Alright, let's go. <laughs> ha! Now I'm jump scare proof. I can't even see anything. Damn it. Light the bird on fire. <laughs> Aha! House key the 50th time. Are we just gonna keep doing this? Is that is this what we're doing? It's a loving mannequin. The uh, Oh. Um gonna go into your kitchen before I interact with that. Homeboy oh just... Okay. You doing alright there? Martha Stewart? You're, you're baking us a nice cake? Alright. Alright! I don't like that! She's gonna be behind me. Now she's just standing there. Well, that was fun. Thank you. I'm just gonna... Grab these cigarettes, because... You're encouraging my bad habit. Do you want... Okay. Don't follow me when I go into this room. What's this? Oh, obviously the mannequin goes in there. I mean, the little thing goes in there. Go. It doesn't? 
I hope the knife lady isn't going to be behind me next time. Is she still um? Yeah, she's still ominously standing there. That's cool. That door don't open. That door opens. That's, uh... She's not gonna like that I picked up this doll and walked away with it. I know she's not gonna be happy about this. Give me your camera too, son. I need it. Alright, hang on. Ceramic doll. Alright, well, I guess I need to get him some film. Sorry I took your doll. Please don't hurt me. Okay, I'm gonna just put the doll in the chair. Knife lady, you still standing there? Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this thing over here. There we go. Knife lady didn't teleport anywhere behind me. That's kinda cool. Oh! Hi, guys! How you doing? I'm just gonna close this door. Nope! Oh, can't close the door! Well... Guys, uh... Oh, okay, you're much more creepy with the lights off. Not sure what's worse. Alright, I'm pretty sure lights off is worse. Oh, you guys are so silly. You don't need to do that. Are you rushing into that room? You can have that room. I think I'm done with that room. At least it couldn't get any worse. Oh... Martha, you gotta do a better job cleaning these toilets. You too, John Stewart. I got a practice book. Don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm just practicing the piano. Door don't open. They're gonna be right here in this hallway now. No, they're not. Well, guys, I'm just gonna go learn the piano. Don't mind me. I've always wanted to play the piano anyway. IRL, that's not a joke, you guys. Look how amazing I am. Guys, don't hurt me. You guys happy? Did you like my song? Oh, they did like my song. Because now we're having a party. Where I'm not going to get murdered, hopefully. Go, ballerina doll. Yay, I did it. <laughs> I, I'm just making a cake. Don't hurt me. I'm literally just making a cake. That's normal. Oh, that's very normal. Well, I mean, I think she has epilepsy. <sighs> what? Did, she, did a kid just pop up and blow the candles out? Cool. Oh, boy. Well, isn't this just an adventure? Do I have my lighter still? Still got my lighter. Okay. Well, I mean, what else are you going to do to me? What else you got, game? I must say, the atmosphere is strong with this one. Not bad. Hasn't scared me yet. But then again, I got a stupidly high tolerance for fear. All right. Oh! Oh! All right, doll's still sitting in the chair. Is my piano book there? Yeah, it's still there. Can I keep the crayons? Nope. I'm gonna go back into the room where they were taking the pictures. See what's going on over there. I can't interact with that. What about in the tub? Nope. Can't do that neither. Door still locked. Coolio. I'm gonna go back in the kitchen, you guys. Oh, wait, there's there's a thingy. Huh? What's this? Oh, I'm fixing the television. Huh? I thought it said Rainbow Six Siege for a second. I was like, wait, what? They're gonna play Rainbow Six Siege? <laughs> Uh, I, I feel very uncomfortable watching this right now. Now I feel even more uncomfortable. Thank you. Is someone in the fridge? 
Hello? No? Oh, it's coming from the front door. I can hear where audio is coming from. I'm not totally deaf. I'm coming! Jesus Christ, I only got one move speed. Hang on! I mean, I was gonna answer the door, not walkouts. That scared me. Someone's playing with a ball. Is the ball gonna get thrown at me just randomly? That's what I'm expecting to happen in a few seconds. Nope. Nothing bad's happened. Oh, the ball threw itself. Cool. Script birthday. Nice. Joke's on you, game. I can't see you, you can't see me. That's the rules we're using. Ha! Can't jump scare me. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's a door. Shit, the light turned on on its own. <laughs> You're breaking the rules, game. You can't do that. Ah, shit. Did I miss the key? There we go. Alright, cool. How are you doing, Froza? What you been up to, pal? Oh, okay. Alright. Things are about to get very uncomfortable. Things are about to get really bad. You hear that? The fridge. The fridge turned around this time. Now the windows are taped because of a typhoon. Oh, what were you busy with at work? Tell me. Tell me everything. I really like this wind noise. There's something about really strong... Uh, hi, Abakabi! There's something about really strong wind that I don't know. You okay there, sweetheart? Someone's crying in there. Is that my daughter? Is there anything I can get in the bathroom? I can turn on the faucet. What the shit? That is not how you handy washy. Uh, it's getting worse! Something is wrong with my faucet. Uh, huh? Did I, did I go crazy and kill my daughter? Is that what happened? I still hear the crying. Alright, this, this game is pretty much Taiwanese Silent Hill PT. Convince me I'm wrong. You can't. Because everyone knows it's true. Not that I'm saying it's a bad thing, because I'm actually really liking this game right now. But this is definitely exactly what I did. Oh, it's the doll that's crying. Oh, sweetie. Wait, it has syringes in it. That is so creepy. Oh, you visited some more places? Take some pictures, put them in the Discord so I can see. This seems a bit messed up. Ugh, the way you kind of like jerk the syringes around when you're removing them, it's creepy. Really unnerving. Now she's sleeping, I think. Now the doll's sleeping. The hell is wrong with me? The hell is wrong with the devs? Who comes up with shit like this? Alright. Well. Cool. Wait, what? Huh? There's an IV bag in here. Alright. Is there a medically fragile child? Am I back at work? How come every time I stream something, I feel like I'm back at work? Now there's medically fragile children in this game. Do they need to call CPS? Do I need to go investigate this?
Uh, uh, this, 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 this looks right. Oh, why are you in a good mood, Kay? What's going on? Not that I want to ruin it. I'm just asking you why. All right. Okay, so let's... We could piece this together. Hang on. And, uh... Uh, that goes there. And that goes there. Aha! I did it! Ah, sweet! Wait, what? What are we doing? What is this? Um... Oh, that is creepy. That is creepy. That is really creepy. What the shit? I can't read in Taiwanese. Oh, let me know how that goes. Films, uh, film and uh, put on the Discord. This is Mentor of you. I've heard about your situation. Do not worry. Come upstairs and see me first. What? what? What's going on? I don't understand. Guess we're coming upstairs. Let's go. This is so weird. You remember when I was streaming Detention, you guys? This is by the same devs of Detention. It's based on Taiwanese folklore. Okay. It's a little weird. It's a little. Just a little weird. Uh, you want my light off, son? Okay. Well. <laughs> if you're a bad husband in Taiwan, you get sent to Silent Hill. Maybe that is what happens. Shit. This kid's in timeout. This isn't ominous at all. Let's turn off the light so it's even more ominous. Okay, I demand that you take a whole bunch of pictures of this concert. Because I've never even heard of this band you're talking about. Blackpink? Never heard of them. Oh, I get to sit down and watch some TV. Yeah, sweet. You guys watch the stream, I watch the TV. I'm floating on this, aren't I? There we go. You guys are watching a stream of a guy watching TV. The Rainbow Star. I keep thinking it's Rainbow Six Siege. Du Mei Chin with a rendition. Take it away. Wait, isn't Du Mei Chin my wife? Oh wait, is this my kid? I I I can't remember the names. I'm sorry. I think that's my kid. Yeah, I think that's my kid. I think that's my kid. And now it's frozen on my kid's face. That shit isn't ominous at all. Let me punch the TV. Well, my TV's shit. A lighter isn't needed here. Oh, I beg to differ. Hey, my sofa's gone. What's this? Yeah, looks like CPS needs to be called. No matter what I do, I'm involved in the game as CPS in some way. Oh, wait a minute. 
Huh? Oh. One with the ooze. The lighter isn't needed here. It's gonna fall onto me, isn't it? Oh, I had a feeling. I had a freaking feeling. You love Buddha and the River of Blood. Oh. Dip into your memories, achievement unlocked. Well, I have literally no idea what's happening. So I hope you guys are as confused as I am. Oh, there goes my daughter. Who's not my wife. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's go now. Let's go this way. Well, guess we're not going this way. Still got my lighter, though. That's kind of cool. <laughs> watch, this watch this game turn into an anti-heroin ad. I would not have a problem with that. All right, so I guess I'm trying to complete this whole, like, wall. Like, posters and stuff. All right, let let's go over here. Wait, are the chairs moving on their own, or is that me? And I just have a giant... Nope, nope, the chairs are moving on their own. Someone should probably check on that kettle. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> what? It just let me leave! It legit just let me leave! Okay, clearly there's something I'm actually supposed to do in here. Unless I come back to this area later. Uh... Cookie gift box. Oh, they look scrumptious. I want some. Now it let me go. Let me turn off the stove before someone gets burned. Thank you. I didn't actually turn it off. It turned itself off, so it's kind of creepy. Okay. Now what? That isn't loud at all. I'm sick of stuff being arranged on its own in this house. Uh. Huh. Okay. You know, it's hard for me to get scared when I have no context of what the shit is happening in this game. Just saying. You should stop confusing me. Letter from a wife's friend. Red shoes. Cool. And now there's a... There's a code. Of which I don't know. I should probably read my notes. Okay, so this is my wife, I think. Oh! Vinyl record. Am I gonna shove my hand in there? That doesn't seem like the smartest idea ever. Haven't you ever played a horror game? Make noise. You sure about that, Chief? You sure about that? Dad, look, there's a hole here. Wait, I am the kid. Daddy, look at me. Dad, look at me. Oh, I'm playing as a kid right now. I guess I'm gonna make him lose his mind and kill me. Maybe that's what happened. It's... Daddy, play with me. Oh, boy. Oh, he's tearing up his script. Well, he seems well adjusted and totally. You guys need to call CPS.
Okay. All right. Well, this is normal. You turned my deepest misery into a comforting flower. Sh okay. Do you want some shoes? I got shoes. Yeah, I didn't think shoes belonged in the flower pot. <laughs> okay. Nope. Can't do nothing with that. Camera stand. For a camera, probably. Nope. Don't got nothing for that. Uh... Am I the only one who doesn't found, like, random static, not scary, but rather annoying? It worked in Silent Hill because it kind of just alerted you that monsters were coming. But in this game, it just, it's just noise. And that's it. But what the shit is this? Huh? <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be scared or confused. I'm confused, though. Just clearing that up for you guys. Alright. I feel like I have a stupidly high threshold for getting, uh, for horror games. Because I just don't understand what the hell is happening, like, 99% of the time. I found a note. The ceramic doll. The essay to my family. Okay. Oh. What? I don't get it. Uh. What's this? Tale of Sigu. Thanks, Sigu. I knew I could count on you, Goo. Alright. Well, I think that's all I can interact with here. I have a high tolerance for horror games if they're not Mr. X. You're right, Mr. X fucks my day up. Alright. Thank you. What? <laughs> what? I don't get it. I really just don't get it. Button label. Do me shin. Button label. Take pills. Button label, alarm clock. What? What's going on? <laughs> uh, uh, there isn't even an interactive. Do you guys want some? Red shoes. It doesn't work. Okay. Um. Go. Daddy lied to me again. He said we we'd be going on a trip. Oh, this is like neglect or something. It's like childhood neglect. I know, I'm not sick anymore. Oh, I'm watching the- Wow! Okay, hang on. Hang on. This is an incredibly unique way to tell the story. Alright, hats off to the devs. This is cool. This is an incredibly unique way to tell the story. Yeah, good job to the devs. I, I like the way they're telling the story right now. Is the kid gonna come? Yeah, oh, look at that shit. Now that is cool. I'm just gonna go by myself, then I'll bring my storybook. Dad's wallet and mom's hat. Alright. Stanley Parable 2. 
It's almost like it. And it's going to the next area. Damn, this is cool. I'm liking this. Ooh, that's a really angry, windy typhoon we got out there. I hid the key in the marble box. It's in my secret hideout. That's a very angry typhoon. That's supposed to represent my daughter. And it's telling me the story of what happened. Mason's still having trouble breathing. She's being a little stubborn too and won't eat the vitamins your mother is giving her. At least she finished what the doctor prescribed. Where did the rest of the pills go? Oh, she poisoned the fish. She poisoned the fish. No, not the fish. Not the pills. Not the bees. Oh, okay. Wow, that was that was very unique. That was incredibly unique. Good job to that, devs. Good job. So that's how the fish died. All right. Well, my daughter is being neglected by a neglectful father at the same time, so... Wait a minute. I am the neglectful father in this situation. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright. Uh, now what? Lock suitcase. Uh, should we just leave? Should we just leave? Nope. This gameplay reminds me so much of Layers of Fear, only it's actually good. Oh, there's my daughter. Hey, sweetie. How you doing? I just gotta shove this marble into the box. Oh, it's it's a game I gotta play. All right, I'm a badass at these kinds of games. No, I suck. <laughs> okay, hang on, I got it. Uh, 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 oh, okay, Zen, you're just freaking amazing, aren't you? Just Zen, all you gotta do. There we go. Got my suitcase key. Thanks, sweetie. I'm out of here. Can't see shit. Alright, let's go. Hey, the door is not opening anymore. Okay, let's open the suitcase. Aha! Suitcase key. Now what's in here? Uh... That can't be normal. Storybook. I got my storybook. It's, uh... Sure. Is, is that blood? Is that blood I see? That can't be normal. School correspondence journal. Alright, well, I think that's all we can do in this area. Wait. Wine brew doodles? Okay. Poem attached to wine pot. That random thumping is very disturbing to me. Oh, there's the doll now. Hey. Okay. This game's weird. Let's go to the next area. Did it. All right, now what do we do? Do I go to the next room? Shit, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go over here. 
These random loading screens are so off-putting. Oh! Each one is more messed up than the last. Uh, got red shoes still. Flower pot. Does the flower pot want a story? I didn't think the flower pot would want a storybook. That was kind of a dumb guess. Alright, let's go to the next one. The next house might have what I'm looking for. Mom, it's me. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh! Okay. Mother-in-law lotter. Marriage is a process of growth and learning. Uh, disputes between husband and wife are inevitable. Your father and I have also walked this path. Life can be messy. Relationships are erratic. But with old age, you begin to foster acceptance. If you choose to leave and come home, however, word will certainly get around. As a celebrity, no doubt you know how damaging gossip can be. Your child is still young and needs to have a proper family. I urge you to reconsider your rash decision and think of her well-being. I know he can be stubborn sometimes, but you don't have to clash with him on every little thing. Let bedroom quarrels stay in the bedroom. Minor disputes can always be taken care of civilly out of sight. What? <laughs> this fucking game. <laughs> huh? What's that mean? You want the storybook? What about this? No. Nope. What about the red shoes? Damn it, the red shoes don't go into the giant door. Do you want the storybook here? No, I didn't think so. All right. Well, you guys, I'm stumped at stump. I don't know what I'm doing. Seems like I got a bunch of random junk. I don't know where to put it. Okay. This is a fancy house. A uh, photo? Blurred photo. Nothing can be made out. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do with that. I, I, oh, I got a camera! I got the camera! Okay, I know what to do with that. I know what to do with that. Ah! Amazing. Well, let's leave here and come back to... Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Something sounds familiar. Or something. Alright, well... I, <laughs> I have literally no idea what's going on at this point. I have literally none. Oh, and a BFO zone. Thanks. Thanks for the follow, pal. Appreciate it. You're the best. But, you know, I'm totally lost, so I'm sorry if I don't figure out what I'm supposed to do. Uh... Uh, teeth? Um. Okay. Sure. Calm self. But what if I don't calm self? What happens? Alright. Uh. I don't see it getting worse. I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but I wasn't expecting it to just kind of loop. So, let's calm self. Alright, well, I guess I'm calm now. Just what are you so worked up about anyway? I'm just trying to help. I'll handle the finances. It's a man's job. You can stay out of it. Oh, shit. What, what, what man's job? What kind of man are you anyway? Hold up in your room. Still haven't found any work. You write oh so much, but I have nothing to show for it. Damn. Please wake up and take a good look, hard look at reality. The scripts you've been writing aren't what people want to hear. And if I'm dropping this nonsense, I don't want to hear it. 
Damn. He's a struggling artist that apparently can't pay the damn bills no more. It wouldn't be here if you could just learn to control your spending. I can't control my spending. Why don't you take a look at yourself? What did you buy such an expensive record player for? Who's going to see it? Buying a bunch of useless watches and teapots, not to mention that absurd fish. Are you done? And what about all these offerings of this guai and every month you throw out money at her? Might as well reach into our savings and give it all away. Ridiculous. Admit it. Without Kigu Guen's blessing, May would still be sick. Now shut your mouth. Good, we'll just give away all our money. And sit here waiting for you, Guai, and to rescue us. With all these expensive pile Do you know how much I borrowed from my mother? Do you know how embarrassing? Embarrassed? With you starting about that and revealing to us, I'll be a laughing stop. Hey, what are you doing? What the? Give it back! Holy shit. Well, you guys need to call CPS twice now. I guess I'm gonna have to investigate that shit too. This is my life now. Okay, well, here we go. Um. Oh, did I? Oh my God, I literally did rip this dress off my wife. What the hell is wrong with me? I'm a horrible man. Tattered G power dress. Wow. This game is messed up, dude. I legit ripped this dress off her. Well, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to refer this guy to a BIP. It's called Batteries Intervention Program. That's a thing we gotta refer people to. Kid's losing her mind. Damn. Either that or the kid knows telekinesis. Well, I'm gonna also have to refer the kid to therapy now. This is exactly how CPS cases go, by the way. <laughs> what do we gotta refer him to? Fear four, the fear running. The kid, the doll's sitting up now. I keep referring to the doll as the kid. Wait. Oh, do you want the storybook? There we go. Hell yeah. Flip page. Flip page. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Baba Father's on the hunt. A gigantic... I love this. This kind of stuff is so cool. Father gets knocked to the ground by the boar. Father跟Snock的ground的boar. Oh, that's cool. This could be its own side game. 
三山夜里，到了风摇神的宫殿。风摇神的宫殿是一座金色的大房子，在森林的正中央，大门就开着，只要是森林的居民，都可以自己进去。莎莎说：“求求你，治好我爸爸的病。”风摇神说：“这是一种神奇的花，只要它盛开，再严重的病痛都会痊愈哦。”风摇神给了莎莎一颗种子。Oh, I need that magical seed, and that's what I'm supposed to plant into that flower pot, isn't it? 莎莎心想：“爸爸有说过，全世界最珍贵的神水就在天空树上。”莎莎启程了，她走出风摇神的宫殿，她来到小森林，一路向前。<笑> If only the flower could. Oh, it is its own side game. I had a feeling. All right. If only the flower could cure crippling debt. <laughs> wow, this is cool. This is another cool like thing that they have in this game. With a juicy apple, love apples. Oh. It wants to eat lunch. Here you go, buddy. Eat you some apples. I thought for sure the bear was about to eat me because I was too slow to throw the apple. There you go, buddy. You feel better? Hey, bear, can you help me cross the river? I just fed you an apple. Do I go get another one? All right. Hey, buddy, you want to go over there? Go get it. I had a feeling this was gonna happen. Does this constitute animal abuse? Can I make him fall down? Imagine how messed up that would be. Also hilarious. Wait, what? Oh my God! What is this, SpongeBob? Probably going off to school too. What? <laughs> Looks like I win again. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Shasha is indeed very frightened. We can climb these things right here, though. Boom. Huh. Huh. All right. Oh, I'm collecting antlers for some reason. Do you guys want your antlers back? Got it. Got both the antlers. Hey, buddy. You guys want them? Oh, oh, okay. But wouldn't they attack her? Cause they think she's also. Never mind. What are they arguing about anyway? Hey, 
buddy. Now they're friends. Well, it's more like they're just kind of walking past each other. Never mind. Oh, things are getting dark. What's this? I don't trust this. Can we climb up here? All right. Climb up here, I guess. This is interesting. Uh, do I interact with this? Nope. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't look friendly in the slightest. I don't know. How will she? Acorn. Okay, that's not gonna work. Maybe this this thing right here. Hey, buggity bug, you want an acorn? Got it. There we go. I got the buggity bug. Come here, buggity bug. Sweet. I knew I could figure this out. Can they have some chocolate instead? It tastes so much better. The chocolate has a picture of it. Oh! Well, I mean, I get. Why didn't I do that before? <laughs> the spirit water dried up a long time ago. The, the dad dies the end. That's the end of the book. Oh, she starts to cry and the seeds grow. I get it. Wow, that's beautiful. Very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very cliche, though. Plant the tulip in their field, and now we've got a bunch. That's adorable, but where's mom? Guess we'll never know. The doll must be happy. You happy, doll? You look pretty happy. Okay, now I know what to do. So I guess I take that into the into the room with like the fel uh, the flower pot, and then I uh, also got this camera that I could put into the camera thing. So yeah, we I think we got all the pieces to these puzzles. We just gotta go put them where they belong. Let's do it. Next area. Wait a minute. What? How many times have I looked at that at this point? thousands of times all right let's go got all the pieces of puzzle it's time to put it all together boom did it wait what the game isn't frozen okay <laughs> I was about to be very upset all right, here we go. Piece one, let's do it. 
And single lens camera. Time to snap a photo. Ooh, okay. Oh, do I got to keep tapping? Oh, I do, in order for her to play the piano. That's cool. I like that. Happy birthday, Dad. Oh, that's so cute. All right. Well, that's one puzzle solved. How about like a dozen more to go? But that's okay. We're making progress. That's what matters. All right. Tulip goes in here. Boom. Now, where is it? Got it. Uh. Uh. That can't be normal. It wasn't an actual tulip, you guys. The. Uh, you happy? <laughs> okay. Sure. All right. That don't open. Where's the one with the record player? There was a record player in one of these freaking rooms. Where'd it go? Oh, and I still don't have the code for that one. So, yeah. I gotta figure that shit out. I really hope it wasn't just written on one of these random pieces of paper. Because I'm not gonna find that. Uh. Cool. Let's go. Uh, is there anything I got that could go on there? Red shoes. No, that'd be stupid. No, that'd be stupid. That would be equally stupid. Alright, let's go. What is this? No, that'd be stupid. Stupid. And stupid. Damn it. Collect the fragments of the past Trevor's into a flawless present. Okay, okay. So I guess that that's the very end. That's where I finally go. Okay. I'm starting to figure this shit out now. Now let's go over here then. Come on. All right, now, where was that record player? There was a room with a record player in it. No. Not in here. Definitely not in here. Okay, it's got to be this one. Because I don't think there is any other rooms. That door is still locked. There we go. Okay, cool. Boom, got it. Aww. It really is a pretty voice. Aww. Thought I was actually gonna hug my daughter and it was gonna be a good day. A crown? What the? Well, shit's getting really not okay now. Alright. Those are eyeballs. Those are actually, those are eyeballs. That is normal.
Hey, at least this room's still normal. Guess I'll just stay here forever. Nope. This is creepy. Um. Okay. I just had a heart attack when I saw the fish tank. Okay. What? What? What's the birthday photo? It's such a cute birthday photo. Too bad everything is Satan. All right, let's go. What's this? Huh? I don't get it. Now there's tulips everywhere. Did I do it? I did do it. Holy shit, I did it. All right, now I got, I got crown, dress, and shoes. I think I did it. I'm still feeling sick today. It was going to be another awful day of lying in bed. Then something great happened. Daddy gave me a gift. It was a storybook. Pages of script Dad had discarded. Oh, that's adorable. Is that a heart? Is that, it looks like it's kind of shaped like a heart. Script. Flowers and love. Wow, this is beautiful. I love this. Even this little toy box. But again, I'm like totally obsessed with toy boxes. I just noticed that this is no longer a long hallway. But in fact, just a room. And it's not even a long room anymore, neither. Wow, this game is really confusing. Nope, nothing else we can do in here. Well, time to get out. After I have a chance to check the kitchen. I don't want to miss anything. Though I'm pretty sure they just warped us back into one of the rooms we've already been to. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh, wait, the crown! The crown actually did something. The dress? Oh! I'm making a wife! I did it! Alright. Let's go. Going to the right. No. Is that the one with the weird door? Nope, it's not. Let's go check the, where the one with the weird door is. I guess it's this one. Is it this one? Nope. Not this one neither. I'm pretty much just moving from freaking room to room until shit happens. That's all I'm doing. Yep, it's this one. Alright. Go. The pieces are incomplete and cannot be placed here. Well, okay. You saw blood under one of those doors? Well, I guess we go.
Oh, I see it now. You're right. I don't remember that being there. Good eye on you, Trash. Good eye on you. September 19th, clear skies. Is this a snake? Mentor Hugh? Is this a goddamn snake? This is not okay. Oh, this is definitely not okay. Alright. Guess I got it. Time to go. I'm a horrible father, aren't I? Just terrible. Just just flat out awful. Nope. I think that's everything. Okay, let's go find the weird door. Um, is that it? Looks like it. Uh, the pieces are incomplete and cannot be placed yet. I know, right? It's so random. Alright, well, let's go check this room, I guess. I'm very confused. I'm very, very confused. Uh, did I miss something in that room back there? I think the only thing we're missing is the code for this. I still don't know the code. Yeah, I don't remember getting that. Uh, no. I'm assuming that the third relief is gonna have a child because there's a man woman. So, yeah, I'm assuming the third one's gonna have a child, but the hell? Or do I get the code for that? There's no interactive thingy there. Nope. Don't see anything here. Let's go to this side. Mm. It's always numerical codes that always take me freaking forever to find. So obnoxious. Wasn't there three doors? Yeah, there was. That one we can't do. That one we just checked. There's two more. Let's check this one over here. Make sure we don't miss anything. Okay, so this was a weird room. Let's make sure we didn't miss any numerical code in here with a weird eyeball room. Eighty-eight, eighty-eight, eighty-eight. 
Wait, hang on. 89. 89, 88. Is it 89, 88? Oh, 89, 88. Oh, 89, 88. Okay, okay, okay. I think it actually is this code. If it actually is this code, that that is a really creepy way to do it. 8988, 8988. I wonder if there's some symbolic reason why it's 8988. Okay, not that one. Didn't it, uh, didn't say her favorite photo. What do you mean? Okay. 89, 88. Uh, uh, Wasn't the clue for something, something about a photo? Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. I thought for sure that was the code, because... I mean, you're, you're probably right. The password's uh, on my favorite picture. Well, let's go back and check her room. Wait a minute. There was, there was a picture that said destination spot. There's a spot that she actually wanted to travel to. Yeah, and I guess that one was next to the briefcase. Let's check over there. Yeah, okay, so it, I'm definitely not going to be carrying it on me. Unfortunately, it's not that. I wish it was. would have made my life easier. But I, I do remember uh, her like having a picture of where she wants to go. favorite picture I mean this is the most normal freaking this is the most normal freaking like bedroom you'd think there would be a picture here they keep saying it yeah like the thing is they keep saying it Eighty nine, eighty eight. I mean, we try that shit. It don't work. Can I go back to the kit, uh, the parents' bedroom just to make sure? Unless the numbers are the other way around. Eighty nine. What? Anyone in there? Damn it. Nope. Nope. Wait, hang on. Oh, what the shit? Is that her favorite picture? Uh, nope. Uh, yeah, still no. That is so creepy. This all, um, every time they repeat it again, as they freak out, that's what sounds creepy to me. Hmm. 
not sure. Where 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 is uh where's that one briefcase she had? There was like a room with a briefcase. I think that's where it would be. This is the last goddamn puzzle that we gotta solve. Uh, diagnostic report, school correspondence script, present card, uh, script tulip, LaFang's photo. Uh, no. My dream. Letter from an old friend. Birthday photo. O seven sixteen. O seven sixteen maybe. Uh. I'm gonna go with O seven sixteen. Yeah, I'm gonna go with O seven sixteen. Abakabi, how are you doing? All right, let's let's try O seven sixteen. Nice, it was O seven sixteen. Me too. That's okay. I think we're almost done with the game. Whoa! Oh my god! I'm in the Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe! I'm a baby man. Uh... There's the Lion! Where's the Witch? Yeah, I feel this kid. Every time I uh every time we had guests when I was a little kid, I didn't want to meet them neither. What do you expect me to say? I don't know who these people are. Now I'm walking up to this. Is that not <laughs> Father's Endeavor. And I got the last piece. Alright. Now we can go to the final area. What I'm thinking. Closet is occupied. What do you mean? Yep. Guess this is where shit gets real. What? Alright, that's gonna be annoying. Uh. Sure. What? What? Okay. 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 Um, I probably picked wrong. 
Okay. Sure. Um, yeah. Alright. She's literally right on me. She's literally right on me. Oh, uh, yeah, there she is. I'm gonna pick a wrong. Nope, there is no wrong. Alright, well, now we got this one. Um, was she coming from that side? Okay. Uh, it seems like I'm going in circles at this point. I, I, I don't feel like I'm actually making progress. What? Yeah, this definitely looks familiar. Zen bad. God damn it. That doesn't help. I never give up. You're bad at hitting the button. Hey, Minimo, what's up? Oh, okay. Um, she seems so sad. And now she doesn't look creepy anymore. Normally, it's the other way around. Damn. Well, that's what happens. That's what happens, man. Welcome back to our program, my dear listeners. You like this already? We're pretty much at the end of it now, Anime Movie. At least I think so. It was more like the- Oh wow, that's how bad the marriage was? Wow, is this during an interview? Is she doing this shit live? Damn. Totally dragged my name through the mud. Oh, yeah, this guy's like really hardcore into his religion. So I made a decision? After, I'll take my family away from that house. Damn! Well, that's what happened. I suffocated my wife with religion. Damn. Oh, and that must be that, that must be Gawaiian God. And I must be going to their house right now to go kill them. I'm assuming that's where I'm going right now, and this is what's happening.
Um. Huh? Wait, am I going to see my spiritual person right now? Is that where I'm going? I don't know where I'm going. I'm trying to piece this together in my head. Definitely the, probably the last area of the game, though. Is this like anti-religion shit right now? Religion will ruin your marriage. Flawless family. Flawless victory. Achievement unlocked. Um, so this is when my family was happy. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, someone's at the door. Or not. Oh, no, someone's at that door. Leave seat. Time to find out the truth. What happened to my kid? Um... Uh, my, it turns out my wife walked out, uh, because I was too obsessed with my religion and I was spending money on this one religious, like, guide thing, and, uh, then I, I wound up in my old home talking to my wife uh, back when, like, things were good, and then I heard a knock on my kid's bedroom door, and now I'm gonna go interact with it. That's what we used to be. Now what are we now? Just I really miss mommy. Okay. Did I just get crushed by my daughter's depression? Oh, wait, no, I am my daughter. Wait, what? Oh, my daughter's depression and anxiety killed her. So I killed my daughter, too. Is that what happened? Oh, damn, that is what happened. Damn, that shit is creepy. What the shit? Dad and mom, dad and mom, dad and mom, dad and mom. Uh, patient's x-ray blood were uh, normal. No physical ailments. Observed. Recommend referral to psychiatric department. My daughter's not a lunatic. Damn. Oh, so this is the person. This is the spiritual person. Bring her over. 
We shall ask your uh, God person. Oh, so that's what happened. Wow, this is like... Ooh, this is not normal. I should probably not bring a kid over to my cult. Am I going to blindfold myself? This is normal. And this is totally rational. Okay, I just, uh, do you see the candle flame? Indeed I do. Her soul's a son, bring her to a doctor. Try looking for a way out. Son, bring her to a doctor like a normal, rational thinking person. A medical professional. A psychiatrist. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna... So I'm literally walking around this apartment now, totally blindfolded, looking for my daughter, because apparently her soul is displaced. This is totally rational and normal. This is not okay. A paper boat. What the sh No! No! This is totally crazy town! My daughter is not a lunatic. That's what he screamed when he got the, um, when he got the notes from his, uh, uh, primary care physician. And then he decides, let me do the rational thing as a not lunatic and do this shit. If this game is making you uncomfortable, then it's doing something right. Do I see anything that stands out? Um, how do I say everything in Taiwanese? I'm going to the underworld. Oh, this is normal. They must bear the flames of their wrongdoings. What the... Okay. Wow, this isn't disturbing at all. Okay, sure. Well, if you guys get some sort of disturbing ass nightmares, I'm sorry. Would I recommend people get this? Uh, the gameplay is very Layers of Fear-esque. It's kind of a walking simulator with extremely basic puzzles. 
I think it was cool. I, 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 I don't think it was bad in any way. Um. Okay, that dude's getting molested by a rock. Um. Are they getting crushed by these rocks? Are they being crushed by these rocks? Yeah, this is definitely like a nightmare inducing shit. This is literally every single dream you've ever had, Animudi. Really? Break down all your dreams and text it to me on Discord. I'm curious. Okie dokie. Okay, sure. Guess I'm going inside myself. Deepest parts of my inner being. Cool. I wouldn't mind doing this IRL. Why is your inner being a frickin' damp ass cave? Some culty ass shit right now. Good night, Cub Cub. Hey. Hey. That shit is cool. That shit is cool. What the shit? A little flower. Cool. Imagine if you were actually in this situation and every time that your like other side spoke, you just go, cool story, bro. Okay. Cool story. <laughs> Just like so nonchalant about what the hell's going on. He's like pointing me to the door. <laughs> I 
Um, I want the bunny. Um. Well, this is normal. Chant. Chant like a lunatic. Okay. Well then. Okay. I agree, Anna Moody. I agree. Is that someone up there? the hell am I supposed to do? I literally don't know what I'm doing anymore. The most painful part about this entire experience right now is how slow I'm walking. Um, the I'll do what I need to do. Just uh, the hell do I interact with? Now there's no stairs that lead back down. Okay, well, I guess I was supposed to climb up here, but then what do I do now? I don't even have any items I can interact with. What? Wow, I feel like such an idiot right now. But what the hell do I do? Um, am I gonna stab myself? I feel like that's the only thing I'm supposed to do with this knife. I mean, these scissors. Oh, thank God it let me down the stairs. The hell do I do then? Literally no idea. What do I do? The problem with big rooms like this is that they exist. 
Because I can't even sprint. So if, if I walk all the way to one side trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do, and I'm wrong that this isn't, this isn't what I'm supposed to do, I have to walk all the way back to the other side. At the world's slowest pace. Damn it, walking sim. Uh, I haven't. Oh, stairs! God damn it! I blame being tired as hell on this. Hey, kid, what's up? Am I about to dig out my own eyeball? Am I about to dig out my own eyeball? Oh, this is disgusting. I literally can't see out of one of my eyes. And now suddenly I can. That I'm I'm gonna be honest, they should have kept that blind effect going. I, I was like super immersed until they took it away. I actually felt like my guy really did cut out his eye for a second. That was much cooler. They probably uh, they probably have to end it if I'm cutting out my other eye, because then I wouldn't be able to see anything. What the hell is this instrument? The hell is this instrument? Oh God! What horrible things are about to happen! What am I about to do? Within the cycle of karma. My tongue? My freaking tongue? This is what religion is doing to you, kids. Oh, God. I'm not sure if I want it to end or I just want to get it over with or... Alright, we're just gonna get it over with. Yeah, Kage would probably not like this part. I literally just cut off my tongue and ripped out my eyeball. To apparently save my daughter's soul. Now what horrible things am I about to do? Now what horrible things am I about to do? Now what? What is this device? 
Am I about to castrate myself? Could it really get any worse than cutting out your own eyeball with a spoon and ripping off your tongue with what looked like a demonic scalpel? It's trapped in the cycle of karma. I don't think that's... I don't think this is how it works. Our wings clip, except the oath of our loving father. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm about to slip my wrist. This is a horrible ending to a game. Even though, like, the art style is, like, kind of censoring it, you can really see how gory the shit is. Oh, God. Shit. Okay. Is it over? Is it freaking over? Can I be done with this now? I'm gonna have some weird freaking dreams. Luckily, I'm a lucid dreamer. So, it doesn't matter how weird my dreams get. I control everything. I'm doing great. How are you doing, Tiffkree? I'm just like, I don't know, weirded out. Consultation records. I guess we play this. You don't remember your dreams that well? Uh, I remember my dreams very well. I learned how to lucid dream after a lot of stuff happened in my life. <laughs> But now, like, I, I'm i so good at lucid dreaming that I could snap my fingers and everything around me would have exploded. It's awesome. That talisman you gave me was useless. Oh. This is just proving how much of a fraud that spiritual leader was. Have I, have I finally come to the conclusion that I was just wasting my life? I'm not gonna throw myself down the stairs, at, am I? Oh, 
Prepare the snake wine. Okay. This is very culty. You're not a doctor. Please stop. Please stop giving medical information if you're not a doctor. No, you're not. Am I free? Let me out of here. Go outside. No! Just go outside. Get a breath of fresh air, you shut-in weirdo. God. I thought I was going to go outside and the game was going to end because I'd go outside, see the real sun, and be like, Wait a minute! Life exists! Nope. It was back here. It was back friggin' here. Oh, I am going to go to the snake oil bathtub thing. What have I done? What have I freaking done? What have I done this time? Mommy hasn't been home in a while. I miss her so much. We're not seeing the doctor anymore. What the shit? I already know how to make myself feel better. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is some dark ass shit right now. Are you sure it's random? Are you sure it's random? From an alternate universe. I'm no longer controlling this game. Wow. Is that the end? I can't even move the cam no more. Assuming that's the end of the game. We're gonna find out. We just did the entire game in one sitting, I think. Well, you guys, I'm pretty sure this is the end, so if you had fun, hit me with a follow, I guess. Yep.
because yeah i'm not sure if there's anything else i guess tomorrow we'll be back with re2 the next chapter of that i guess so yeah probably do that I really like the way they did this ending scene, though. It's gorgeous. Now it sounds like Evil Within. Damn, this is cool. Not sure this song really matches the ending, but considering, like, the feel this game was giving off, but, you know, sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the end. If there's more, then what the shit? <laughs> they rolling credits, or are we just watching like a cutscene right now? I like the elephant slide. The kid's gonna run off again. Oh wait, no, the kid's actually gonna look at me. Papa, we go home. Huh? Wait, what? The kid's alive? Or have I officially lost my goddamn mind? Yep, that's the end. Well, that answers that question. Well, guys, like I said, if you had fun, hit me with a follow. Obviously, there's going to be no more of this game, but we're going to continue with Resident Evil 2 tomorrow. We're on Leon's chapter, so I expect I'm going to die another thousand times before I make even a modicum of progress. But, you know, that's fine. I had fun. I thought the game was pretty good. I will see you all tomorrow. You guys have a good night if it's late. It's good morning if it's your, if it's a morning, I don't know time. So, yep. Anyway, guys, I will see you all later. You guys have a good one. Good night. Uh, yeah, it's probably good night. For the most part, it's probably night for you guys. Later!